Well, the class of 2023 will commence with their national senior certificate exams on Monday, the 30th of October this year. Now, mathematician and award-winning educator Mlungi Singosi recently opened his maths and science center in North Riding, where he assists learners from grades 8 to 12 with maths, science and coding tutoring, as well as career guidance aligned with the STEM he has gathered over 160,000 subscribers to his YouTube channel where he focuses on innovative approaches to assist learners in comprehending mathematics and physical science. As we count down the days ahead of the exam finals, he joins us now in studio to share more on this pro on his program. Rather. Mr. Ngosi, a very good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. Good to have you. Good to have you. Yes, it's such you. a very, very interesting uh, job that you do. Tell me, what is... 160,000 divided by 4 minus uh, 6 <laughs> times 12. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes, well, man. You know, I'm always enchanted, man, whenever I'm speaking to a mathematician. Yeah, yeah. Because I love, I love how you guys think. You always think on your feet. Yeah. So l just take us through your journey and how you set up this Maths and Science Center. Well, um, uh, thank you uh, for the opportunity just to talk to your viewers. Um, so this journey started with me as an educator. Uh, actually, I started teaching uh, from my back, uh, from, from my grandmother's uh, uh, back room, you know, in Soweto. Really? Yeah, that's where the passion actually started. Okay. Um, but the school, I started uh, teaching in a, a, a school around Soweto in Naledi. <clears throat> But um, at the height of COVID, we experienced a challenge, you know, uh, teaching mm -hmm. and learning was disrupted. Uh, and as a result, I took on to uh, YouTube, you know, as a platform that I could use uh, to try and continue to help my, my, my learners. Mm. But of course, uh, you know, fast forward, uh, that journey has led to today over 170,000 subscribers on the channel, um, you know, across the length and the breadth of our country. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, uh, I always say that what it has actually enabled me is to create a classroom without walls. Right, right. Yeah. And um, so just to fast forward the journey, I was now part of the YouTube black uh, community. Um, so YouTube has got, you know, a, uh, uh, just a fund that is meant to assist its uh, creators. Okay. But they take a, a very select number. I mean, uh, okay, we're, okay. we're only 13 in that class. And that's how the, the, the brand, I would say, Mlungi Singosi grew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, right now, all we are trying to do is just to make sure that we expand our offering uh, to, of, uh, to accommodate, you know, learners um, in person. So that yeah. is how the center came about. So do you find that learners consume your lessons differently online than when uh, you're teaching them physically? You, you can uh, understand, Spiwe, right? It's, it's two different, uh, you know, modes of learning. Okay. And I, I always want to say that, you know, you always want to try and infuse um, diversity. You want to okay. cater for diversity, right? There are those who uh, perhaps in a, in a general classroom setting would not be able to focus for various other reasons, you know, and, and, and that's why we need to take a multi-pronged approach. Mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. you know, the, the YouTube channel serves... Um, you know, its purpose as much as an, 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 uh, a physical classroom sure. also serves sure. a different purpose. Um, you know, obviously being a teacher, I always love being in the classroom. And that's why the center, you know, is, is, is such a brilliant idea because what it does is in a, it enables me to interact more with the learner to mm -hmm. see where they have challenges, mm -hmm. which, mm -hmm. which essentially is what a, a teacher does. Look, so what is it about your teaching that uh, your learners find much easier to to understand? I would say, um, first of all, I've got a 15 year experience in the industry, you okay. know, uh, as, as a teacher. So I've, I've observed, um, you know, a, a plethora of uh, other teachers uh, teach, um, you know, back in our days, we used to watch William Smith, uh, who used to yes, teach on, yes. on SABC3. On SABC3 yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and, and I, I didn't realize when I was studying the YouTube channel that, in fact, I was I, I was beginning, you know, a similar process for learners in, our, in, in this generation. It actually is. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. Um, and, and essentially, I, I've, I've learned, you know, different methods on how to simplify the concept of uh, mathematics and, and physical science. Yeah. And uh, that has enabled me now, you know, to, 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 to share that with my learners. Okay. Yeah. How then do you uh, assist uh, with regards to career guidance? 
So we've got um, uh, events that we curate. Um, last year, because you know we were still in between lockdown and, and, and yes, so on, yes. uh, we did that online. Um, so we just got people, uh, particularly in the STEM sector, uh, STEM uh, meaning uh, uh, it's an acronym for science, technology, uh, engineering and mathematics. Of course, they've now in infused uh, and the A there. Uh, for uh, art as well. Okay. Um, so what we do is we call people that are in those sectors, right, uh, to come and uh, you know talk to learners. How how did they get into the sector? Mm -hmm. What are the requirements? Uh, you know, just for them to get uh, just a different a different ideas of uh, what it takes, uh, you know, to to thrive and to break through in the. Uh, science and the technology fields. Yes, yes. So how many learners do you have currently and uh, how often do you hold classes? Um, so we've got classes at the moment. We, we've got our rematch program, which is for people that are upgrading. Um, I think, uh, uh, give or take, I think I've got about 23 learners uh, in that particular uh, uh, program. Okay. Right. Um, so those will be writing right now in, um, in, in, in November. Uh, but we also have learners, I also help with learners that are still in full-time high school. Um, uh, we've got different sessions for them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there are various numbers, uh, you know, per session okay. uh, on that. Uh, but we, um, just the, the, the last week or two, we had our, um, our camp, you know, we called it Finishing Strong where we were assisting learners, you know, obviously now uh, the exams are just uh, uh, on the door and we were helping learners that are going to write their, the, you know, their final mm. exam that are in full-time mm. metric. And that was actually uh, subscribed, uh, oversubscribed, to be honest with you, uh, because we, mm. we also had, um, you know, uh, we also had to accommodate people online as well. All right, Mlungi, it's a great chatting yeah. to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, keep on doing the great work, and we do appreciate it. Uh, just uh, for those needing your services, how accessible are you? Yes, we are uh, online. Uh, they can uh, contact us via our, our email, info okay. at .co.za. But we are also uh, on our website, which is www.mlungisinkosi.co.za. All right, keep on keeping on, man. Thank you so much. Thank you. Great stuff. Well, that is mathematician and award-winning educator Mlungisinkosi speaking to us about his math and science center.